Hey guys, this is Apple Hunter 274 and uh, I'm going to show you the new features in Mac OS X Lion. Now it's been a, around a week since it um, released. I did a full review on the actual release date, so if you want to go see that, you can. And I also did a how to get it video if you need any help with that. Um, today I'm going to go over all the new features in it. And uh, I'm going to start with the um, new multi-touch gestures. Now, it's going to take me a while to go through all of them. Um, one of them is uh, mission control. Alright, so you take four fingers or three fingers and you um, move up. Just put them up and you get into a new thing called mission control. Now, this is also a new feature in Mac OS X Lion. Um, in Mission Control, you can have many desktops, and um, you can add them by scrolling over to the corner, and there will be a little Add button, and you can go ahead and press it and uh, have a new desktop. And you can have a different um, background for each desktop and easily um, cancel out of them like I just did. And uh, you can have one program running here, uh, a Google Chrome running on this, and uh, iPhoto running on another one. Um, if you prefer to use Safari, they do have a full screen version, and I'm going to get to that later. And um, um, that's pretty much an overview of Mission Control. And also, you can see the dashboard there. You can uh, go to the dashboard from within Mission Control. Um, this brings me to another multi touch gesture, which is four fingers to the side. Now, this will take me to the next desktop. So I do four fingers to the left, it'll bring me to the next desktop on my right. So um, you can just scroll through your desktops very easily like this. And um, that's pretty much it for the mission control and desktops. And uh, now I'm going to go through um, the scrolling. They have reversed it and... Uh, it's in the opposite direction. If you don't like that, you can go to the settings and uh, change that. And uh, everything else is pretty much um, the same. And if you want to see them all, go to settings and go to trackpad settings and you can view a video of all of them. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next new feature, which is full screen apps. Now I'm going to show you Safari because I think they use this the most here. So as you can see, Safari is normal, okay, but now there's a new full screen button right in the corner right there. I'm just going to go ahead and click that, and uh, the dock goes away, and uh, you have a huge space to uh, view your web page. And you can just move your thing to the top, and you can see all your bookmarks and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So, um, that's pretty much it for... Uh, full screen now this is compatible with all um, Apple apps so iPhoto, iMovie, um, Safari, Mail, Addressbook and a bunch of other Apple apps like iCal and all. I'm gonna get to iCal now and and Mail they both look very similar and the Addressbook too they both all of them look very similar to iPad and I'm not going to show you mail or address book because that has personal information in it, but I can show you iCal. So, um, just go ahead and click that. And it, as you can see, it looks very much like an iPad. And if you want to see mail and address book, you can easily find it on Apple's website. So, sorry, I just don't want to show you my personal information. You just saw me go into the launch pad, which is a new feature. You just take four fingers and you pinch into the trackpad and you go into your launch pad. And as you can see, it's very much like an iPad. You can scroll through all the pages with two fingers. And uh, it's very cool. You can um, look at all your applications and select one. You put them in folders. So I put all the Microsoft Office in folders. So it's very cool. And um, to exit, you just click outside and uh, I'll move on to the next feature. Looks like I've covered most of them. One other one is called Resume, where you, 
um, when you turn off your computer, you restart it, it comes back to the exact same point. So it's kind of like a hibernation in Windows. And um, it just comes back to the exact same place. You have the same windows open and everything. So that's pretty cool. You can turn that off if you want to, though. Some people don't like that. Um, if you have pages, it'll automatically save all your documents, and, um, there's a, just a lot of other stuff. There's 250 new features, I just can't go through all of them. These are the main ones, and, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.